We have to talk about January 2023 in overview. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Patterson, and this is Angel Souls. Thank you so much for being here. So diving into January, January typically has a feeling of decompressing. Obviously, we have the holidays. We have all these things going on. But this January has a little bit of a different feel in that it's, it doesn't have to be a new year just because of the calendar, but we always have to take the collective energy into account. So because so many people <laughs> see it as a fresh start, a new beginning, there's the energy pushing behind that. That's why most of us, you know, if you want to, you can take advantage of that uh, energy and that opportunity to start fresh. But what ends up happening? We put pressure on ourselves to change our lives overnight and what good does that do us right <laughs> so it fails usually so the overall feeling yes there's the clean slate feeling but that i'm feeling could be a little bit i don't know it may not serve us we may get so tied up trying to you know take care of all of our bad habits and all that, that we're distracted from what's going on out in the world. And that could catch us unaware. Now, I'm not sitting here trying to fear monger, anything of the sort. I'm here more about spiritual growth and leaning on our angels and archangels to um, help improve our lives and to make sure we do everything that we came here to do. However, January has sort of a silent, can I say silent monster? hanging around it's a 3d thing um it's a culmination of darker energy and there's good news hang on um because <laughs> it does sound great right now and that this this beast is over here uh, again it's a it's a energy collective it's a thought form it's it's a thing and it's standing there going how am i going to wreak havoc again and here's the nice part of it the rest of us are going, no, we're done. Yeah, that's so cute. We're done. Think of a child throwing a tantrum. And if you're a terrified parent or guardian, you might just go, okay, 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 you know, like just give you what you want to shut you up, right? Or to not have you explode any further. And then there's that moment of, no, we're not doing this. Enough with this tantrum. It's sort of like that energy. Our collective energy is far bigger than this other en entity, okay? Um, or whatever talks are going on, so on and so forth. So we have the power to change it. People are always asking, how? Stop thinking about yourself. When we talk about prioritize uh, yourself for spiritual growth and self-care, that that is recommended. That is what, you know, if you are going to be focused on yourself, be doing that. When I say stop thinking about yourself, I mean stop going. My boyfriend annoys me. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I can't hear about what's going on in the world because my boyfriend just annoys me. Watch the uh, distractions that you have in your own life. Is it any wonder that all of a sudden money for regular people is a huge issue? And it's terrifying because money means you have a roof over your head, you have food, you have medical necessities, you know, you have all of those things. And when there's talk of money not being plentiful, that reinforces our lack mentality, things get worse. And while we're terrified about how we're going to be paying the rent or the mortgage, we're not paying attention to what's going on. Some people would call this a certain theory right? and say, you know, that's, you know, that's not true. You're talking about distractions and all this stuff. No, I'm talking about an energy overlay that is intensifying and it's going to test us. It's going to test us. It's, it's no secret that when, you know, certain people who are in charge are controlling the economy and the rest of us feel powerless, and yet it is our sense of safety that is being threatened, um, you know, we, we do start to think just about that and think about, as I was saying, just thinking about ourselves and, um, 
you know, how am I going to make more money? I've got to do a side hustle. I have to, you know, don't, don't get hung up on the narrative. Okay. Don't get hung up on that and don't get into so far into the self-preservation that you forget that other people exist. There's a big reason why I'm saying this, because when I say the splitting, I've been saying this in live events too, there's a splitting that is occurring and yes, it's a, it's a spiritual war. And so people of very, very different frequencies were going to be more obvious to one another. Okay. So it does feel like it's supposed to go out before we can blend. Not everybody's going to blend in. Some are going to fall right off. Okay. Cause they're making their choices or whatever, but you know, the rest of us will eventually come together. But in this January overview, please remember that time is not linear. This is just a little, this is how people's brains work. That's why I do videos like this, but this could go on beyond January. It's already kind of happened before January. Uh, we are going to be met with so many things that are trying to get our attention. So trying to get us to prioritize what really matters. That's why I focus on spiritual growth, okay? And opening the heart space, focusing on peace, but not being one of those people who's like, I just focus on peace and I just don't recognize anything else. Thanks for nothing, okay? <laughs> it's supposed to be all hands on deck right now, okay? And just leaving it up to the rest of us. No, there needs to be a balancing between you doing your human thing, yes, and having your spiritual growth as well. So the people who are in tune with both those aspects, they're not giving into magical thinking. They're not giving into spiritual concepts that are meant to have you deluded. Okay. Uh, they're not just giving our, their power away to certain spiritual ideas. Those are the people who are going to handle this energy the best. We are entering a seven year. A seven year is all about spirituality your inner work, your inner peace, looking for grace in everything, okay? Yes, there are things rattling around in the world, but I can be at peace. I'm going to send peace out into the world. I'm going to live in a state of grace. If that means I downsize, I downsize. If that means I, like I literally had not grocery shopped in like two weeks and uh, I had a pantry full of things to cook. And at first I was like, oh, bummer, I got to cook. <sighs> really? <laughs> but after a few days, I was like, oh, look at that. My health has improved. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm a lot happier. I feel good. I feel like I have more energy. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing that is happening. We are being told <laughs> by our guides and angels to shift how you live. We have gotten so into especially here in the United States we have so gotten into quick quickness give me the food quick I don't even know what's in it but consume it um do your work quickly even if it's not good get it done quickly get it done cheaply throw it out there immediacy immediacy you know all this kind of stuff and this is the exact opposite of that. <laughs> this is this is us, um, like the engine just kind of, like if you were in a car, the engine just kind of goes, okay? It just kind of, and, and you're left sitting. And crumbling doesn't, I mean, that might happen for a second. Feel what you need to feel, okay? But then see the beauty behind it and go, you know, it was a nice day. I'm going to get out and walk anyway. I'll leave this old clunker here, you know, like. It's that, okay? It's very that, where you're leaving behind the thing that you thought you needed and realizing you don't need it at all and that you can be quite happy without it. So there's a lot of shifting and changing. Do not be hard on yourself for any reason, okay? Um, it is, there's a bit of a maintenance feel here. And what I mean by that is, okay, I'm working on myself. I'm working on myself. I feel good. Oh, that's not good news. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, that, that really upset me. It's remembering that we are in an illusion. We are in a made up world. Okay. And we're playing a character in that made up world and reconnecting with your soul, doing a higher self or angelic self meditation, doing that kind of work can help you remember that. 
and help you recharge your batteries. So if you come into any month going, what's going to happen? Am I, just, just tell me so I can be prepared. I'm so scared. Again, thanks for nothing, okay? Like, <laughs> we, we need you to be more balanced, okay? So you're not just uh, future tripping or uh, fearing the future constantly, wanting the heads up so that you, I mean, heads, heads up here and there is nice, right? You can get prepared for it. But just, this is a matter of learning to trust yourself. And whatever comes up, you will handle it. Haven't you handled everything up until now? Haven't we seen some things that we've never seen in our lifetime before? And if you made it through, God bless you. And God bless the ones who didn't make it through, right? But you have learned how to take care of yourself. You have learned how to be resourceful. And you have learned how to prioritize and I can just tell you right now, worrying about how popular you are, how pretty you are, um, how many love partners you have. Ew. Um, sorry, sorry. That just offended a certain group of people. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I was thinking of like players who aren't very nice to people. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you know, all those kinds of things. It's not, that's not it. That's not, you're going to get slapped in the face, so to speak. Uh, if you're still focusing on that or worried about, you know, my coworkers driving me nuts. Am I going to win my court case? Am I going to, that is feeding into the narrative. I understand because we're all trying to function as humans, but I'll tell you what, there are people who come in and they just don't get it. Like to them, there is no reality beyond the third dimensional ego consciousness reality. And they will not even try to stretch beyond that. And those are the people who are trying to use spirituality as a tool to gain something. This is not going to be a good month for you if you do that. The time is done. It is done. So what is it? It's, uh, it's rocky for those who are not prepared. It's rocky for those who, when I say prepared, I don't mean like being a prepper. I mean, like, hey, do it. I mean, why not? But I'm talking about mentally and emotionally prepared. If you're shallow, if you're a narcissist, you'll put a smile on your face and you'll pretend like you always do. But you're losing on the inside. I mean, you can't run from the universe. And you can look around and think other human beings are so stupid. <laughs> but guess what? Not anymore. This is going to be going on for a couple of years, actually. And then we'll have to touch base about what's happening about 2025 and beyond. But uh, for January, take care of yourselves. Trust that you can take care of you. Trust that you can get through anything. You'll figure it out. Love people with all of your heart. Watch out for those who can't love you back. Clean up your life. Clear out things that you have bad associations with. If you can't afford your home and maybe maybe something smaller and cozy. like it, There are adjustments that people are going to be making. And we're no longer going to be sucked in by this idea of luxury. Or this idea of if someone has a big important job that they're a catch. They're not a catch. They're usually the predators. They're usually the ones that are psychos. Are you serious? We need to switch it up, y'all. <laughs> we need to wake up to all of this nonsense. Are people telling us like the big, beautiful house is the better house? That's more to clean and more to monitor. Uh-huh. More to monitor. Who needs all those cameras to see who's creeping around in that extra spare bedroom? I don't want that. <laughs> Anyway, we're getting off on a tangent here. So we're going to be waking up to what's really important. It, again, if you're coming from a very shallow place, you're going to be freaking out. And you're going to lie to everybody, as I said before, and say, no, I got to get hanging. <laughs> but you're freaking out. Okay. So anyway, we're going to leave it there. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have any further questions. And as always, I am sending you all so much love and take care.